Repentance is a change of mind. It's when you basically look at Christ and for the first time you say, He is not what I thought He was. See, we got too many people that are thinking, oh, believe, 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 believe. Just believe. Repent and believe. You don't even have a place to start talking about those things unless you've set forth the Christ with all of His signs that point to Him. That's what His works were. This is the Christ. This is the Christ. That's what those miracles did. You see, that's when we talk about you want to trust your life to Him. You want to turn from your sin, follow Him. You see, that's, that's, that's why we have a world of people in the churches that say, I'm trying to repent, I'm trying to believe. It's because nobody's showing them Christ. Yeah, we talk very flippantly about, eh, you know, Jesus died on the cross, and you know, He did that for your sins. You need to believe. You just need just believe. And all the time, John's saying, Mark, they're utterly astonished. They're absolutely amazed. They were thoroughly marveling. I mean, he's just emphatic. And that's what Paul's doing. He's saying, you want to talk about the mystery of godliness? You want to talk about somebody being radically transformed in the church? Let me tell you, great is this mystery. It's got everything to do with God coming as a man. And all these miracles. And God owning Him. And the Spirit of God coming upon Him. And the Spirit through the eternal Spirit being offered and rising and ascending. And there's angels in the mix of all of it. And miracle after miracle. And He ascended to heaven. People believed. 3,000 people believed on Him in the world. Who? Who? A dead Jew, a dead carpenter who couldn't seemingly do anything to Rome. They spit on Him. They stuck a crown on His head. They crucified Him. They scourged Him. And look at He died. If you're going to champion the truth of faith and repentance in this world, Oh, my brethren, if you're going to be a pillar and buttress of the truth, you remember the great mystery of godliness is the great mystery of Christ. And if you don't have Christ, you have nothing. You have nothing. You have nothing to believe in. And you have nothing to change men's minds with. Nothing. Without me, you can do nothing. Nothing. We do this in remembrance of Him.